Hey guys, I'm back with my um, Kellogg Fern journal. I'm going to go do the pages that I recently did. This one had leftover goodness, glimmer mist, see, and um, some paint. And then I took some book pages, old book pages, vintage, or retro. These are the Boxy Trends Twins book. Um, and then I just used, um, I was playing around with, with what I can do with the book pages because it is, because it is old. So I took, um, the, um, Paisley. Um, texture, not texture, embossing folder, and I took some distress ink over it, can't really tell, and then this one I took the Tim Holtz texture fade, and then, and, um, also used some, um, distress ink over it, and it tore when I was doing it, but it looked alright, see? And then I just glued it with, um, I think, matte medium or gel medium. I don't remember. And then I tried to do a gel medium transfer with, um, you know, regular school book pages. I did two. One here it seemed somewhat better. And then, like, they did the one down here. And then it turned out. They turned out somewhat okay over here, but not completely. Didn't get the full image. And this one didn't turn out at all. So I'm just going to cover it up with opportunity to make it work. And this is a, um, a dryer sheet that I had. That was from up here. And I thought I use it. And I wear, ran a, use a brayer over it with a Kaleida color. And I just glued it. Put the glue over and just ran it, run it through my fingers. It was easier that way. And it's some over here, and it's like melted into the page. It's like mulberry paper. And then I stamped this Harlequin stamp. And then I found this image. I'm gonna go like an aviation thing with the Wright Brothers plane. But then I saw I decided to glue this image. This is a tape transfer down and I really like the colors and it went well with this page. And this was from the mental floss magazine that I had. And it's not completely done yet, the page was red. And this is another one where I use these scraps. And just glue them on to the page, and then I took some white paint or gesso and just toned down the colors. And then this, it, this image, and this image is from the Sleeping Beauties calendar that I got at Borders for a buck. And I wanted her to look like she's leaning into something, so I I took um, the Chicago Botanic Gardens for sure, and I cut the way I cut it, the way the flowers were, and then I um, used my watercolor crayons and drew some Z's because they're sleeping. Really not thrilled with the way it turned out, and then I stamped some. This is like stamp from uh, a stamp set from under the sea with crabs and seahorses and I just used um, gravel as like a texture. And she got a little bit on her face. I didn't notice that till now. And then on Effie's one link Effie's link site, she had a um journal page um challenge on Tisha Moore style. So I looked back for a video that she had, and I liked it, so I 
give it a try. Um, the borders on here are from a Valentine's set from the Magic Eye, the 3D. And I just cut them into strips and glue them on the page. And this, the body of here is from the Angry Bunny or Happy Bunny. It's also a Valentine's Day card set. And this head was on this torso. Now it's on the hair. And then this is these are from or, um, Rolling Stone. And this is from an ad, the cat head. And this is from a catalog. And these are from two different magazines. The guy's arms. And these eyes, these two eyes and this eye are from the Buzz Kit, no, well, the Buzz, Buzz Guy, the L'Oreal Paris eyeshadow and mascara that I'm doing. And this is from Hero Arts. And originally I was going to use this as a head for doing this, but it's too big for the pages, so I just did a tape transfer, and this is this the first one I did with this tape. I liked how she turned out. Oh, before I glued her down, I stamped with a bubble wrap. A small bubble wrap and big bubble wrap, big bubble wrap on both pages, but you can see it here. And I painted with pink and yellow craft paint. And then I stamped the corner little um, triangle stamp and then circles and these are all four corners and this is from like an ink pad and ink pad dual dual dollars I had it for years and then I really like how, how um, she has these dots on her forehead. <laughs> and then I took um, alpha, my alpha stamps, an alpha, a set of alphas, and I just wrote stamped OMG. So I like how she's like looking at them. And I got this, there's a reason for this too, um, wax paper. I did this is another, um, texture with gesso page. And I just painted this tonight. Well, last night. It's 1.30. And, um, it's not finished. I was really gonna, originally I was gonna do something else that's on the next page, but it didn't work out because it didn't stamp very well, so I ended up doing here. And tonight, on Paula's Journal Artista's Ustream show, she did the technique with, um, pigment inks and bonding them. And I didn't have the bonding tool that she had, but I had, this one was on like a roller. So I used that to blend. And I had the night inks, I don't, my pen, color box inks are the, the wheels, because they, I had these inks for years and years and years and years and years, like when I first started stamping. So my pen wheels were all dried up. But I had a dry color pad that the, the pad itself was peeling up, so I just took it and oops, I took it and just spread it all over. And um, then I took the um, wheel and I just wheeled it to blend. And then instead of um, regular embossing powder, I just used um, Beauty, and it's somewhat the same look. And it's going to be like a um, travel page. So stamp is by um, Jenkins. It's an old, old, old stamp. One of my favorites, though. Well, and then the reason why I put on my paper is because. I I did this a while ago with the gesso and I 
added in there and then when I went to open it a little tonight I got a little more it was stuck together and I had a little more texture because the pages some of the pages were ripping apart and stuff so that's this journal and I got one more thing to show but I won't have time on this video so I'll stop it and I'll probably do it tomorrow since it is 1.35 in the morning my time central time so good night good morning thanks for watching